This was a game that BYU had circled on its calendar since the beginning of the season. It was Yoli Child's return to the starting lineup after serving a nine-game suspension, and he dazzled in his season debut, scoring 29 points. But the run-in Utes stole the show, beating BYU 102-95 in overtime. And this gives a big boost to a young running Utes squad as they get ready to head into conference play in the next couple of weeks. It gives us confidence, you know, down 14 and 16, and it gives us, you know, we, we, kept, we continue to fight, and it just gives us that mentality that we can come back from stuff like this. And, you know, we just got to build off this win and get a win on Saturday. This next play mentality, um, they say we're young, but we're old beyond our years, man. Uh, we just got to stay poised, keep playing, um, and we started making our runs, and we just kept feeding off the energy of the crowd. And, I mean, we're brothers out there, man. We feed off each other, so that's big for us. We just try to stay connected up there. Ryland Jones was special for the Utes. He had a game-tying three with 22 seconds left. To send the game to overtime, he finished with 25 points in the win. He missed that layup. And then he came right back and hit a, a big shot. So he's got some he's got some large onions. You know, it was probably the loudest gym I've ever been in. And it gave us energy and it gave us life and led to a victory. That made a, that was one of the funnest calls games, just just because of the crowd. It was a heck of a fight all the way through. This is one of those games that whether you like it or not, you're gonna remember it for your scrapbook the rest of your life. I mean, I think we had eleven Utah kids playing in the game between both teams. From the Huntsman Center in Salt Lake, I'm Zach Hicken, KSLSports.com.